Calculate 16 to the power of 3 times 25 to the power of 4. Hmm, which trick shall I use? Now, there are two methods. The first method is, firstly, 16 and 25 are powers. They're both perfect squares. And 16 is also 2 to the power of 4. 25 is 5 squared. So now, we've written them. In this step, we use a formula. a to the power of m, then o to the power of n, equals a to the power of m times n. Now, that means 2 to the power of 4, then to the power of 3, equals 2 to the power of 4 times 3, it is 12. Then times the same rule for 5. 5 to the power of 4 times 2, it is 8. We notice that the product of 2 and 5 is 10. And this is a very nice number. However, they don't have the same power. 2 has the power 12, and 5 has the power 8. So now, I have to make them have the same power. How can that be true? Now, this 12 can be written as 8 plus 4. And we have the formula a to the power of m plus n equals a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So that means 2 to the power of 8 plus 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 4 then times 2 to the power of 8, or 2 to the power of 8 then times 2 to the power of 4. Because we want the 2 to the power of 8 be together with 5 to the power of 8. So we should write 2 to the power of 4 firstly, and then times 2 to the power of 8, times 5 to the power of 8. And this guy is 10 to the power of 8. a to the power of m times b to the power of m equals a times b, then to the power of n. So this guy is 2 to the power of 4 is 16, then times 10 to the power of 8. So the answer is 16 and then 8 zeros. Or you can also write it in the scientific notation. It is 1.6 times 10 to the power of 9. But of course, we also have another method. And the second method is coming. Firstly, we know that 4 times 25 is 100, which is equal to 10 squared. So now, instead of writing this 16 as 2 power 4, I'm going to write it as 4 squared. Then, it is 4 to the power of 6 times 25 to the power of 4. The same method. It is 4 to the power of 2 times 4 to the power of 4, then times 25 to the power of 4. Because 4 times 25 is 100. So it is 100 to the power of 4. And 100 to the power of 4 is 10 squared to the power of 4, and that is 10 to the power of 8. And this is 4 squared is 16. Then times 10 to the power of 8. And it is equal to this guy. Did you get it? Did you get the two methods? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.